Beleza, salve aí galera, tudo beleza aí com vocês? Estamos de volta aqui ao Lone Echo E vambora Aqui as coisas dentro da nave não deram muito certo A gente tem que pegar aqui o Fury Que vai ser redirecionado para outro lugar Ela tá vindo? Ah, muito lentamente, mas tá Como é que tá minha radiação? Tá boa Agora tem que esperar que ela chegue aqui e a gente vai para outro lugar. Vai ela vai lá na frente. Pelo visto. Select your destination. Destination, US and Australia. Bridge. I'm ready. Preparing for thrust ignition. Please hold on. Hands and arms inside. Just go. Activating thrusters. Apollo, are you certain the bridge can withstand pressurization? As certain as I can be. The bridge is one of the most structurally sound areas on the entire ship. I would estimate our chances of success are roughly one in three. One in three, huh? Well, I'd really hate to have to live on those odds. Unfortunately, Captain Rhodes, you do have to live on those odds. That was sarcasm, Apollo. She was joking. This hardly seems like an appropriate time for levity. Never mind. Just get us to the bridge. Jack, you... You caught my joke. Jack tá mais em nome do que... Yes. It was a good joke, Liv. Try and stay focused. We're nearly there. E agora? Apollo, another EM fluctuation. They're increasing in magnitude. Só um pouco. Should we be concerned? Not presently. The reactor is still functioning within operational limits. Good. Continue monitoring the situation. Let us know if anything changes. Of course. Approaching command deck. Reducing speed. Okay, I'm not sure if it is. Parece que é para ali que a gente vai. Talvez para ali ou para aquela escotilha que está ali. Vou tentar essa primeiro e depois a outra. Here we are. The large door up ahead will take us to the command deck. Essa aqui, né? Vou tentar essa. Jack. Captain Rhodes is still on the Fury transport. She's not moving. Pô, eu vou ter que pegar ela? Olivia, wake up. What? Well, yeah. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm awake. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I, I just... Just give me a minute. You go ahead and lead the way. I'll be right behind you. Can I love me? Acho que sim, né? Warning. Oxygen level critical. Return to cabin. Shut up! O2. Down to 1%. We need to get you to the bridge. All right. Get the door. Beleza, vamos embora lá. E fecham a porta de um lado e abrem do outro para poder fazer loading, para mudar de ambiente. Come on, let's go. Esse truque já é antigo. Como é que eu vou para lá? E ela tá vindo? Pelo visto eu vou ter que sempre acordar ela. Liv? Liv, wake up! Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Just a bit lightheaded. Let's, uh, let's just keep moving. The bridge is just up ahead. I don't see any spores on this deck. No, no visible contamination of any kind. Yes. There's got 
to be a good sign, right? Not necessarily. The biomass primarily spreads through the ventilation system. Until we can inspect the vents, we cannot assume this deck is safe. Apollo, I... I really hope you weren't the one in charge of morale on this ship. Okay, I'm going to go We need authorization from a command crew member to open the bridge airlock. Not time for protocol. We don't have time for protocol, Apollo. I'm sorry, but we cannot access the bridge without voice. Just unlock the damn door, Apollo. Voice authorization accepted. Airlock controls released. Para um aí avançado. Ele é um pouco lento. Live. Olivia. Yeah. Vou ter que levar ela daqui a pouco. I'm good. Just hold on. It won't be long now. Captain Rhodes, I suggest you take your place at the command station. And please try to remain conscious. Yeah. Now, Jack, in order to restore atmospheric pressure, I will need to rewrite the bridge logic core. You will find it near the forward console. Core located. The rewrite procedure is identical to the one we performed in life support. Understood. I'll move the core to the overwrite slot. Core in place. Proceeding with scan. Beleza? Rewrite successful. Copy. Returning core. Core locked in. Do you have access? Affirmative. I now have full control of all essential bridge functions. How long will it take to repressurize the cabin? Accessing environmental controls. Stand by. Warning. Oxygen reserves depleted. Return to habitat immediately. Check. My, my O2 tank zero time. It will be all right. It's going to be all right, Liv. You're going to make it. I'm scared, Jack. I know. Just hold on. I'm going to help you. Oh, God. I can't. Okay. I can't Your life support. Apollo, we need life support now. I'm afraid we have another complication. What is it? I'm detecting trace amounts of the biocontaminants in the bridge ventilation system. Any attempts to repressurize will flood the bridge with poisonous spores and kill the captain. Tell me what to do. The bridge environmental system consists of four air vents. You'll need to inspect each one. Incinerate any spores you find with your reactive cutter. Got it. In the case? Okay. Jack. Jack, I can't see. Everything's... Everything's blurry. Okay. Nitrogen levels in her blood are rising. Activating an emergency medical capsule. Liv, you have to stay with me. Keep your eyes open. I, I can't. I can't. Yes, you can. Focus. Oh, God. This is... Caraca, mano. This isn't happening. Please, Liv. I need you to stay with me. Qual o próximo? Jack. Não sei. Hey. Hold on. Just Still hold thinking. on, Liv. You know what? You know Tem mais algum? Tem. I'm not really sure. Ok. Eu não sei se tem mais algum. I wanted to go to series anyway. Acho que não, acho que estão todas. Liv? Liv, she's lost consciousness. The vents are clear. Re-engage life support, now. Accessing environmental controls. Restoring atmospheric pressure. Oxygen outflow, nominal. Apollo? Hull integrity is holding steady. It's working. Eu tenho que fazer alguma coisa para acordar ela? Habitable zone established. Breathable atmosphere detected. Helmet release, como é que eu faço isso?
Cara, como é que eu faço isso? Despertando ali. Liv? Olivia? Negative respiration. She's still not breathing. Please. Liv, wake up. Ventricular fibrillation. She's going into cardiac arrest. What can I do? There's an emergency defibrillator. There, in the medical locker. By the entrance. Entrada? Aqui. Apollo, the medical locker is sealed. You should be able to cut it open. Deveria ter tempo, né? Tipo, se a gente demorar muito tempo, tipo, ela morre. Não sei se tem. Mas tá parecendo que não. I've got it. Quickly. Connect the defibrillator to the side of the medical capsule. Cadê? Tá lá na minha mão. Tá vendo? Ok, bati onde não devia. Tá lá em cima. Isso aqui é uma coisa assim, né? Vai lá. Talvez... Sim? Não, contrário. Assim. Defibrillator online. Attach the electrode panels directly to the medical capsule. The current will pass straight through. Ok. Um aqui. Posterior electrode in place. E outra aqui. Anterior electrode secured. You need to pump the handle to build up a charge. When the power level reads blue, press the hollow button to administer the shock. Charging. Oh. Clear. No response. Again. Oh boy. Clear. Negative. Still in V-fib. Again. Isso aqui vai cansar, hein? We may be too late. Charging. Clear. Jack. She's gone. No. Again. Charging. Vamos tentar até o máximo. Dá um choque mesmo forte. Clear. Please live. Don't do this. Cara, que ela não morre. Tenho dois. Clear, Jack. I have sinus rhythm. She's alive. Jack? You're going to be all right, Liv. Everything's going to be okay. Blood oxygen levels returning to normal. Heart rate 64 BPM. She's stabilizing. I feel like death. Is that supposed to be funny? You frightened me. I thought I'd lost you. So you are going to miss me. Essa visão é muito maneira. Hello, Captain Rhodes. I am relieved to see you are not dead. Thanks. You are. Uh, you won't let me out of this thing. Do respect, Captain. Protocol requires you remain. I do what she says, Apollo. Thank you. I'd like it noted for the record that I am strongly so, opposed noted. to this decision. Now let me out. Oh. Are you sure you're all right? Just, just a little sore. I'll manage. Apollo, what's happening? Excessive damage to the power has triggered a rapid destabilization of the main reactor. What does that mean? If we don't find a way to stabilize the reactor, the containment field will collapse and destroy the ship. Options? There are a number of solutions I could attempt, but only one holds a reasonable chance of success. Not gonna like this, am I? We could execute a faster-than-light jump. The amount of energy expended by an FTL jump may be enough to stabilize the reactor. 
Can this ship survive? Can the ship survive an FTL jump in its current state? Unknown. You'll understand if I'm not completely sold on this idea. In truth, that's not actually our biggest problem. You sure? Because it really sounds like it from where I'm sitting. The last time this ship performed a faster than light jump resulted in radical temporal displacement. Wait, you're... You're saying if we jump, we're going to time travel? I'm not certain, but it is possible. This is insane. The energy buildup is accelerating. We don't have much time. Are we really doing this? Oh yeah, don't have a choice. I don't see how we have a choice. Execute the jump, we will need to redirect all available power to the FTL drive. This requires manually powering down all non-essential systems. I will walk you through the procedure. Or we could just break them. Well, yes. I suppose that would also work. That's... It's really brilliant, actually. Reactive destabilization. Apollo, how do we access the primary system components? Use the engineering station to open the maintenance panels. All right, I'll expose the components. Jack, get ready to cut through as many of those systems as you can. Got it. Okay. There. Panels open. Pick a system and start cutting. On it. Come on. You can make the Primary weapon systems disarmed. I think it's working, Jack. Try another. A vantagem de ser um robô, né? Tá esse. Eu tava gostando, queria cortar mais. Punch what? Tô batendo aqui em algumas coisas que eu não sei o que é. Ok. O que aconteceu aqui? Jack. Jack, você está bem? Não permanente damage. Não permanente damage. O que sobre você? Um pouco desfazido. Além disso... Onde estamos? Onde estamos? Acho que estamos no mesmo lugar. Estamos tomando uma leitura agora. Viva. É Saturno. Não. 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 I'm afraid Jack is correct, Captain. We are currently in geosynchronous orbit over Saturn. Apollo, what is the current date? Astrometric positioning would suggest we have arrived sometime in the mid-26th century. We jumped forward 400 years. Approximately. So this is your time? To put it simply, yes. This is my time. What happened here, Apollo? You were looking at the aftermath of a skirmish this ship was involved in prior to our meeting each other. Who are you fighting? Why were... What is that? Contact. Incoming vessel. More trouble? Negative. USN transponders. They're friendly. USN Estrella, this is transport cruiser Juno. Do you copy? Liv, you should answer them. I should? You are the captain. I say again, Astraea, do you read? Um, yes, we read you, Juno. This is Olivia Rhodes. Captain Olivia Rhodes. 
Copy that, Captain. We have a solid lock on your signal. We're also reading a tactical AI on board and a... Wait. Well, that can't be right. This is Jack. Captain? What? Captain Jack. Say again, Estrella. We didn't copy. Come on, say it. Okay. This is Captain Jack. Oh. This is Captain Jack. Two captains on one ship? Must be quite a story there. Just sit tight. Rescue teams inbound. ETA 10 minutes. Understood. Estrella out. So. We're stuck 400 years in the future. It would seem so. Yes. Yes. Well, approximately. No way to get home. None. Okay. So tell me, what's the proper protocol for this situation? No, is this. Improvise. Improvise. Good answer, Jack. E é isso aí galera, zeramos o Lone Echo, eu vou nessa, quero agradecer a vocês por terem assistido, esperamos que o 2 saia logo, valeu, falou, até o próximo vídeo e fui!